Building a gaming PC, or even just a simple home or work PC, can be one of the most satisfying feelings out there. It's one of my more important hobbies, and I will literally build my friends a PC for free, so long as they bought the parts, because I love it so much. But there are a few really annoying things about building a PC that I'm sure almost all of us whom have done so can relate to. As of today, I'm building my mother a PC. If you didn't know, my grandmother became very ill recently, and my mother has been taking it very hard. So I wanted to surprise her with a brand new PC. Hers didn't take to Windows 10 very well, and it's kind of old. She's needed a new one for a while, but that's not the point. The point is, this build that I'm making her is the reason I'm making this video. So without further ado, let's begin. The first problem you could run into when building a PC is not even the building part. It's the initial building part, the cyber build. Going on to PC Part Picker and finding all the right parts. Now, for someone like me, this site is perfect, but it can be a hassle. Sometimes you grab a component that is for some reason or another incompatible with another. And I'm not talking about socket difference or something obvious like that. I mean something absolutely ridiculous. Like, you grab a processor that obviously comes with a CPU cooler. And PC Part Picker is all, Wait! You need a cooler! PC Part Picker, I have one! The CPU comes with it, and it says it literally right here. This isn't much of a problem for most, but I have a friend who got a processor with a cooler, and then bought a $100 cooler because one, he's naive. Two, he heard bad rumors about AMD. And three, PC Part Picker told him he should get one. Leave me alone and let me decide what I want to do with my build. Only warn me if I'm being stupid or grab an 1151 for an 1155 socket or something like that. Next is when you get all the parts. You bought them all from Amazon or Newegg or maybe from a few different stores. And you start to look over your parts and realize something very important is missing. This happened to me with my mother's build. I bought everything from Newegg and everything was here within two days. But guess what didn't come until two days later? The case! Literally the only thing I needed to start the build. I could have easily just not worried about it if it had been almost any other part. RAM? Who cares? CPU? Oh well. But motherboard and case have to be there or you're gonna wait. And that really sucks. For those of you who haven't built a PC, or had it built for you, let me try to illustrate this. Imagine for a second you go to a buffet, and there's a huge salad serving. You have everything. Lettuce, tomato, chicken, ranch, but no bowls or plates. The single most important thing, and this just really sucks. Because I get this tingly, I want to build feeling when the hardware comes. Yeah, I know I have a problem, but I'm not in the mood to fix it. I just want my parts. So all the parts arrived, and you start building. You go for about an hour, and you're really careful not to static shock anything, which is another annoying issue, but it rarely happens. Regardless, be careful. You plug it into the wall, plug it into a monitor, and power it up, and guess what? Nothing happened. Now you have to try to figure out which component came to you dead on arrival. This is such a kick in the nuts, too, because in a way, this can easily make you feel like you're responsible. You messed up, and you're the reason it's not going to start, and it breaks your heart. This happened to me with my mother's board. <laughs> See what I did there? I waited for the case. I got it today, in fact, and I went to work, and lo and behold, the motherboard's dead. And it really sucks, because now you have to RMA it. <sighs> so you go to Newegg. You get the RMA code, you slap it on the side of the box, drive down to your nearest FedEx or UPS, and wait another few days. But oh wait, you just realized that it's the weekend, so the RMA won't actually go through until the next week starts. What friggin' luck! And it always does that, too. The RMA comes. You put it together again. You plug it in. Boot it up. Install your OS and BIOS and you're good to go. You activate Windows or whatever operating system you chose. Uh, and you now have a new PC. No fuss, no hassle. And in your head, there's a promise that you'll never do it again. But you know better. 
you and I both know better because even though you went through all of that, you struggled and overcame every obstacle in your way. And in the end, it's one of the greatest feelings ever.